Dennis, your team has led several billion dollar mining successes in the mining industry to date. What was the catalyst for starting Austin Gold? The, the catalyst, so this goes back to 2020. Uh, of course, COVID was going on and everything was shut down and some of us realized how bored we were at that time. But but more importantly, we had uh, Joel Obstinate and uh, Ken McNaughton uh, were leaving uh, a previous company that built again, a multi-billion dollar company. And uh, so we all got together, the, the four of us actually got together and decided it's time. We uh, felt good about the gold market. Let's put another company together from scratch, a gold exploration company. And that, that's how Austin Gold started back in 2020. And uh, we've, it's been a good experience, a very good experience so far. We're enjoying it. The Austin Gold story is relatively new to the Investor News audience. Would you mind giving us an overview on the company, please? Sure. So we, we, I mentioned we started the company back in, in 2020, uh, worked for a couple of years getting the projects together, a very experienced board together, and, uh, and of course, uh, several projects. We did our initial public offering in May of 2022. Uh, we went straight to the New York, the NYSC American Stock Exchange. We were not traded anywhere in Canada, and um, uh, we managed to catch the uh, the craze that there was a SPAC craze and an IPO craze that was going on back then. We managed to catch that uh, in perfect timing. I think we we're one of the last initial public offerings that uh, caught that craze. Our uh, IPO was done at four dollars US. It opened at six and a half dollars and uh, rocketed up to twenty nine dollars. Believe it or not, uh, on on opening day, within the first few days of trading, uh, the net result of all that is we were able to raise. Uh, gross proceeds of U.S. $15 million, and uh, we're still well-funded. Um, uh, so we managed to get some good projects together, a good team, and uh, now we're out building the company. And of course, you have two projects. You have one in Nevada, and you got one in Oregon. And your most really recent drilling results were on the Stockade Mountain Project deal. Uh, how about you speak to your favorite highlights? Sure. So... We, we actually have two projects in Nevada right now and one in Oregon. Uh, the Stockade Mountain project is the one that we've most recently been drilling. And uh, it's, uh, it's a very large, high-grade uh, gold and silver project uh, just north of the, uh, just north of Nevada, of course, southeast Oregon. Um, uh, we got some very good results. The model for the Stockade project is a classic textbook epithermal vein system. Uh, and what's really impressive about these systems and this one in particular is, uh, uh, let me explain, I guess the, the, at near the surface, you get what's called a stockwork system. A stockwork, if you can imagine a shattered windshield uh, where you get all these little uh, cracks and that's where you get these veinlets and the veinlets near the surface carry gold values but the very typical model is that as you get deeper, these uh, you get into what's called the feeder system that fed those veinlets, and typically that's much richer and much bigger. And that's what we're looking for at Stockade Mountain. It was previously drilled by three major gold companies, and uh, they were looking for open pit. So they drilled very shallow holes. They did not look at all for the potential feeder system that's typical typically uh, underneath these uh, stockwork veinlet systems. Um, so we drilled three holes. Uh, the results are very encouraging. We've got upwards of over nine grams uh, gold per ton in uh, two and a half to four feet widths. But again, this is still the stockwork. This is the veinlet systems, the, the, the supposedly thinner, uh, less rich part of the gold system. So. Uh, at, Star at Starcade, we're looking for that feeder system where we expect to be hopefully much richer and bigger than what we're seeing in the veinlets. So that's Starcade. Um, in Nevada, I'll just mention one project in Nevada. It's the Lone Mountain project. And we're very ex excited about Lone Mountain. Uh, Lone Mountain is located in the uh, Carlin district, if you will. We're 20 miles north east of Carlin and about 15 miles 
south of the Jarrett Canyon. Uh, the Curlin District, over 100 million ounces have been mined so far in the Curlin District. And uh, just north of us at Jarrett Canyon, over 9 million ounces have been mined. And these deposits were discovered uh, in what's called or through what's called a lower plate window. And the lower plate is uh, exposure, logically enough as it sounds. <laughs> You've got the upper plate sitting on top of the lower plate and where the upper plate erodes away, you get exposure to the lower plate. And the lower plate carbonate window is where these large gold deposits are being discovered, the Carlin system, the Jarrett Canyon. And so we have one of these, a 13 square mile lower plate window at Lone Mountain. And it's been owned by one family for over 60 years. So arguably it's very underexplored. We're very excited to go out and explore this large lower plate window. Uh, well, there's actually a past producing mine on this project at Lone Mountain. So uh, we're really excited about this project. Again, not a lot of deep holes, uh, an area where we're focused, there's not a lot of holes at all. So uh, it has district scale potential. It's such a large property. We have over 800 claims there. So. Uh, those are the two main projects I'll, I'll, I'll mention for now. We do have another project, but we don't probably have time to discuss all of them. So speaking of that, uh, Dennis, can you tell me why you selected the New York Stock Exchange as, uh, as your you know, source for listing? Most exploration companies usually start on the TSX, for instance. Sure. Actually, that's, that's a very good point. We are a very rare company in that we are an exploration company listed on the NYSE American. Uh, there's very few of us, most NYSE listed companies would be producing or development companies and we're, we're, we're exploration. Uh, but we chose that because of past experience of, of all of our uh, officers and directors, uh, you've got a much larger audience, uh, well, just by population alone, you've got 10 times the audience in the US as you do in Canada. But uh, we also believe that you can, um, uh, get a better trading, more more trading, more volume. And if you look at our share price and our volume and so on, it's it's, it's typically better than a than a new startup on the uh, uh, you know TSX venture, for example. Uh, so that's why we had it there. We, you know, we've got uh, three of our directors and officers have been involved in building. Well, actually, I shouldn't say three of us. There's seven of us directors. All of us have been involved in the building of several three billion dollar plus companies, and all three of those companies were listed on the NYSE American. So, uh, with the good experience we've had in the past, with the potential to build a significant mining exploration and mining company, uh, that's why we decided to go to the NYSE American. And of course, in building these billion dollar corporations, which we did mention at the onset, for investors to take a look, we always tell them to check out the management's background. Can you tell me why you selected gold and we'd love your opinion on the gold market in general right now? Sure, so typically the gold market is 50% jewelry, 40% investment and 10% industry. Right now and for the last, you know, you, you do have a lot of jewelry buying and so on and, and you know that small amount of industrial, but the market for gold right now is being driven by investment. Uh, there are several factors, of course. There's geopolitical factors. Um, there's the de-dollarization de of the gold market. Uh, uh, you've got um, inflation worries. You've got the potential for the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve to reduce, start reducing interest rates, uh, even the potential for a recession. So all these factors combined are, are driving the gold market. But most recently, it seems that the gold market is being driven by the de-dollarization uh, of, of gold. Uh, you have um, the geopolitical situation when Russia invaded Ukraine, you've got the Israeli Hamas situation. Uh, that's one factor, but uh, when uh, Western um, decided to uh, um, freeze the Russian assets when Russia invaded Ukraine. I think that woke up some of the China and other central banks around the world, Brazil and, and uh, so on, decided maybe we should not hold so many reserves of our reserves in the U.S. currency, U.S. dollar. Maybe we should have bigger reserves in, in, in gold. And I think that right now, I believe the China is one of the driving forces 
uh, central banks plus, of course, uh, Chinese investors themselves are, are, are hoarding gold. So that's a big factor in what's driving gold. I'm a firm believer that with the money supply increasing dramatically, debts in the U.S. and, and uh, around the world, central banks, economies and so on, it, it, sooner or later, well, it is happening right now. You're seeing, uh, of course, the, uh, how was it, one newsletter writer put it, it's, it's a race to the bottom between the various currencies and be it currencies. So gold is money. And I'm a very firm believer that uh, gold will perform and, and is going to continue to perform uh, certainly for the rest of this decade. Well, obviously, I have to ask this question now. How in the world did you get such amazing assets? I mean, there's a lot of gold bugs out there, Dennis, that have been scouring the planet for amazing projects. How were you able to secure such excellent prospects and in the United States, of course? Sure. So, uh, it's always networking. You know, we have, uh, I've, I've mentioned our board, we've got a fantastic team, seven directors. All of them have been involved in the building of multi-billion dollar companies. We've built three of them be between us. Uh, but then we also have uh, two economic geologists on our advisory board. And uh, they're, they're expert mine finders. They've discovered in their career so far uh, over a billion ounces of silver and over 10 million ounces of gold. And several of their projects are actually in production as producing mines. And these are prospectors that have discovered these projects just by being out in the field looking around. So uh, one of our projects came from them and uh, that's the Stockade Mountain project actually. And then we have another project that has been owned and went by one family for over 60 years. And actually that fellow is, uh, is that family uh, member is a director of, of Energy Fuels, which is a, a, another company I'm a director of. And um, uh, I've mentioned it's been in their family for over 60 years. And uh, through that relationship, we were able to acquire the loan on project. So uh, it's networking, it's, it's, it's people always make the difference. Well, you heard it here first on Investor News. For more information, please go to the Austin Gold website. And as per Dennis Higgs' LinkedIn profile, do not contact him asking to buy bullion. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you.